In this video, I will demonstrate how to apply a mask to an image using Lightburn. First of all, I'll show how simple it is. If you load uh, any image, such as this JPEG file I'm loading here, um, you'll have no problem putting a random shape onto it, applying the mask, and Bob's your uncle. Next, flatten the mask, and then that's the job done. However, sometimes it isn't uh, an image you're working with, but a vector file. So what I'm going to do here is I'll load the image back in and I'll convert it into a vector. I'll use the trace function in Lightburn to do this. Okay, so what you'll see here is when I apply a shape to uh, use as a mask, uh, it won't it won't actually work. As you can see, the option is actually grayed out on the menu, so uh, there's no way you can apply a mask to the image. So what to do? Well. What we're going to do in this case is convert the vector back into a bitmap file or a raster as some people call them. So we'll do that and it's it's a little bit on the light side. So uh, what we'll do here is um, we'll edit the image just to darken it a bit. It's not really necessary for this demonstration but let's see your CD in me I think. Now it's a bitmap again. So if I put the the shape onto it, choose a little bit different area this time, and then you'll see the options back in the menu. So just like the first one we we did at the beginning of the video, it'll uh, it'll apply a mask and uh, then flatten the mask, no problem whatsoever. So one more time, I'll load the JPEG file back in, convert it into uh, a vector file. But this next time, rather than use uh, one of the preset shapes on the menu at the side there, I'll draw a random, a totally random shape and show that it's not just um, standard shapes you can use as a mask at anything whatsoever really. So I'll use the line tool to click around and <laughs> apply a totally random shape. I think you'll agree that's random. Here, yeah. oh, I'll have to put it onto uh, the red layer where it's line rather than filled. When I stop fiddling about, there you go. And you'll see that when I drag that over onto the JPEG file. Once again, it's greyed out. I did say JPEG file, I meant a vector file. So one more time, in case you find yourself in that predicament, I'll take this vector file, which it may have started off with you as a vector file, and then I'll convert it back into a bitmap. And once again, a little bit on the right side. So just because it's me, I shall uh, darken it a little. So it looks nicer. There you go. Drag the random shape over. Choose part of the file you want. And apply mask. It must be noted that I'm applying both the shape and the image in the background at the same time to apply mask. If you do one and not the other, obviously the mask option won't pop up. So there you go. 
it's as simple as that and I hope that's helped anyone that might be having difficulties uh, if you've liked this video please like it and possibly subscribe and that'll encourage me to do more videos for you so thanks for watching